Hi you guys, welcome back. It's Mrs. Veldbeentje. I am starting to work on my little red dress project. And so I printed out, I chose my pattern. It is Irma from Georgette Patterns. I found them on Instagram and they have an Etsy shop. That's where I bought my pattern. I bought it for nine euros and some cents. And it has eight pattern pieces. It has the front bodice, the back bodice, the sleeves, right front skirt, left front skirt, back skirt, inside waistband and outside waistband. It's 28 pages, printed, cut, scotch taped, and then drew everything out on pattern paper. And I put an extra line there because there, there's where I want to lengthen the sleeves. It is a quarter, a three quarter sleeve, but I wanted a full length sleeve. That is the old, only alteration that I'm going to do. So the fabric is something that I showed you guys in a few videos back in my fabric haul. I, have, I bought this fabric from Textile Stot. I bought two meters, so I should have enough. I saw that there were only 17 steps to success, so that should be great. And the seam allowance is already included in all the pattern pieces. So let's just start. It's going to be speed up, sped up, it's going to be behind the scenes, and it will be over the course of a few days because I will not be able to do everything in one sitting. So let's see. yesterday and today I closed the side seams from the top bodice from the front bodice and the back bodice I so I have sewn the middle part or the back seam of the back uh, bodice I created the fold this is the right skirt the right side of the skirt and um, these are the sleeves so i just closed the side seam of the sleeves so i can attach them uh, to the bodice i created the folds on the left side of the i was looking yeah on the left side of the front skirt so this goes over the right side as i understood from the um from the instructions and then this is the back skirt which I made sure to sew the middle seam, so the back middle seam of the skirt. I am going to use, or I'm going, to, I think this is the outer one, the outer waistband, I believe, yeah. I'm going to iron some facing on this one. And then this one is the inside one. It doesn't need any facing. But this is where the four centimeter waist elastic is going to be uh, tread in. And then right here is a tunnel where the shoulder, let's say the shoulder elastic is going to be from three cent for three centimeters. I'm getting there. Yes, it is fitting time. Well, let's just see if you see the vision, okay? Because I know what the measure of success is. That is the picture of the pattern. I have the the front bodice is I attach the sleeves. It's off the shoulder, and this would have to come in like that because there's going to be elastic. The elastic tunneling is going to happen right here, and then you have the waistband, which is the outer one with the interfacing, and then the skirt. The skirt has a split right there 
I have to attach, I have to do the seam allowance of the left and the right skirt first on the inner side before I can put the waistband and close the side because I still have a hole around here. And there's a lot of lag action to be honest, a little bit more than I anticipated. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Isn't she beautiful? I'm talking about a dress. I'm not that full of myself. <laughs> I'm talking about Irma. Irma is making her debut. Wow. I have, oh, I wanna show you the length. It's a little below my knee. It has a split. It has a four centimeter waistband, a three centimeter shoulder band, if I can call that, yes. It has pleats over here and pleats in here. Let me tell you about my struggle points. My struggle points were the pleats, the right side of the skirt and the left side of the skirt. So let's, this is the right side of the skirt. This is the left side of the skirt. So here on the side has pleats and here on top has pleats as well. I was having a little bit of struggle over there. I was a little confused, but sewing is something, there's many roads that lead to Rome, and so you do what works for you, even when you don't really understand the sewing part or the sewing instruction at that part. Try something, perfection is overrated. And so that was that and I had to hem, you have to hem both of them, both of the pieces. So you have to hem the left side and the right side before you put it together. What I tried to do is use this fabric adhesive and it's something that you iron in between the fabrics. I'm not sure if the fabric was, the weight of the fabric was too much, but in any case it did not work. And so after using the adhesive, I, use a twin needle to finish it off. I'm happy with the results and that's the only thing that count. Other than that, my next struggle was here. I just winged it. I was like, I'm not sure as long as it work, works. The measurement for this elastic as well as the waistband is given in the instructions. And I just lengthened my sleeves. I wanted it a little bit longer. And so I lengthened them. I was planning to wear a turtleneck with this dress, go outside and take pictures. That did not happen. It is freezing, it is cold. Plus we're in a lockdown. And so I couldn't go to the store anymore to buy my turtleneck. As always, I enjoy making this video. I hope you enjoy watching. Don't be afraid to come down below if you have any questions or just want to say hey. And you have a great, great day. Bye.